Hello, welcome uh, to this brief information session uh, on the master's program in uh, wireless communications engineering at University of Oulu. My name is Ranjula and I will be the host for this discussion. Uh, before we begin uh, our discussion, let's uh, start with uh, brief introductions. Hi, my name is Jari Hannu. I'm the director of the degree program in ele electronics and communication engineering and um, also been working on uh, developing this wireless communication engineering program. Hi, my name is Adewaza Mikon. I'm from Nigeria and I'm currently taking my master's in wireless communication engineering at the University of Oulu and this is my second year. Okay, thank you for, uh, thank you both for being here today and uh, uh, Ayamukun, uh, could you uh, share how you learned about the University of Oulu and also uh, the degree program in wireless communications engineering? Oh uh, yeah, I mean uh, it was during the COVID-19 lockdown phase. So I was in my country, I just finished my bachelor's in Malaysia. So I was looking for where to uh, like, which con I was looking into 5G and 6G, that's where my research interest. And I was looking for which university has the best place. And when I was searching online, I found that like Nokia is in Finland and also University of Oslo has an affiliation with them. So I was like, it was no brainer for me to come here. And I checked out the program, the scholarship too. So I was like, yes, I'll come here. That's why I'm here now. Okay, that's, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, next, uh, can you tell me uh, some information about uh, uh, what were the main requirements uh, in your application process? Oh, okay. The first requirement is you should have a bachelor's degree in either electrical communication or or computer engineering or any rel relative equivalent. And second one is to have your CV ready and also have your transcript ready. And also you have to write a motivation letter. And also I think the last one is the research interest. You have to write a letter based on that on your research interest and what you're trying to go to. And also the English requirements, the IELTS for international students. Okay, that's great. Uh, so, uh, Yarik, uh, can you tell me uh, some information about what the faculty is actually looking for uh, in this admission process and also uh, what will contribute to a, a good application? So the admission process is that, that we will get the best students to our degree program who will graduate in two years when they start their studies. And also we want to screen if what kind of students we get here, what if we get students and they graduate, so how the industry will take them, will they uh, employ them and also if there's possibility to continue their studies for, for in the research path, for example, in, in doctoral research. So those are the main points in there, which we're looking for. The, the background has to be good enough. So like he did uh, a wireless communication engineering, uh, uh, so he has his electronics and communication engineering background. So it's the it's the best one probably which you can get so it's easy to build uh, the new knowledge which we can provide in our degree program. Okay, thank you. And Yari, uh, what is the program structure uh, for this uh, program in uh, wireless communications engineering? So in the, uh, the program structure is that you have first the basic uh, kind of uh, uh, basic module uh, for your studies which you have the basics uh, on your study option. So we have two study options. There's a uh, uh, communication engineering and there's the uh, RF uh, radio uh, side. So those are RF design side. And after the you do the basic, you have this um, advanced module where you can choose the courses more which support your degree in, in wireless communication engineering. And of course, there are optional studies also be, where you can choose some more of them. And then, of course, there's mandatory uh, internship, which you can do at the university or, or, or at the industry. And of course, there's the master's degree, which you can do also on for the industry or for the university. Okay, that's really great. And uh, uh, as you uh, briefly discuss about uh, uh, the the radio technologies and also uh, uh, radio frequency side. So uh, in this master's program, uh, of course, there are uh, different study options that student can choose to uh, shape their career path and also like according to their interest. Like uh, uh, then could you mention uh, the value of this part of uh, program uh, for wireless communications engineering, mainly uh, like uh, if, if uh, that, like students want to know uh, uh, like which uh, path to take? 
so mm. they are uh, uh, as you said earlier uh, radio access technologies and mm. also uh, radio frequency side mm. so what uh, uh, what are the main differences in in these two pro, uh, study paths so that uh, mm. uh, students can uh, choose uh, beforehand so the main difference is uh, in my mind is that in radio frequency devices so you are more in the hardware in that path so you understand how to design antennas how to design modem site how the frequency uh, the signal path goes on the hardware itself and the uh, radio access uh, then again is more about uh, telecommunication systems in larger scale what kind of coding systems they are what kind of different kind of modulation technique for example you can utilize and how the big systems are built and how you can make those efficient for the future applications in 5G well 6G now mainly those okay okay that's really great thank you and uh, uh, i am going from your perspective uh, as a second year student uh, could you talk about uh, 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 in your background uh, what uh, help you to uh, like uh, to be successful in this uh, wireless communications engineering program like uh, your background how it helped you to uh, succeed in this first year of studies as you already have started the second year yeah uh, i mean uh, for my bachelor's degree like i said i studied electric and uh, electronic and communication engineering and in my university back there we worked about uh, worked on a lot of things that we are building on now in wireless communication like digital analog i took analog uh, electronics digital electronics i took uh, statistical signal processing and digital signal processing and when you compare that to what we're doing now it's just like the advanced model of that so that's prepared me for what i'm going to do now so that's that so my background was very strong that's why it was easy for me to transition oh, that's to true. the wc yeah. yeah that's really interesting and uh, thank you and yari uh, Uh, could you talk about how this uh, master's degree program uh, uh, might lead into work life uh, after this program maybe in uh, research or in uh, industry uh, how it will uh, 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 support the students to uh, search in new directions so the when you do your master's thesis that's mainly the main traineeship you get in your master's phase in your studies so there you can go really deeply as in really really good master's thesis uh, on telecommunication engineering in our field so there, there there you can go into the research itself really deeply so that's a really good path in there but also you can do the same things for the industry so taking account some kind of a system development or you do a study uh some kind of a research kind of study for the industry so there when you do that for for the company they will also understand what kind of knowledge you have and how they can utilize you in the future in there as an employee so that's a really nice path for students to go to the industry also so they are nowadays they are really well employing students outside the university also which is a really really good thing for our degree program and also for the uh, environmental uh, uh, industry environment which we have mm. okay thank you uh, and uh, i am kun uh, you have already uh, done your bachelor's uh, not in your home country and uh, uh, in a different country and uh, and now you are doing your masters in uh, finland in uh, oulu so could you uh, talk a little bit about uh, uh, the living and studying in olu uh, in general yeah i mean living in olu i think coming from where i'm coming from from a very hot country the first cultural shock for me was how cold i know people read about how cold it is but experience in how cold it is is very very different from reading about it and also i mean it's a beautiful country green nature and all that it's very very nice and also the university to helps you they give you in terms of working like he said we're going to have a working training program where they give students chance is that you work in industry or the campus employee where they give you chance to earn a living and all that which helps you too and also the university provides scholarship apart from the one they give you which is the CWC scholarship too which is good and also generally the people are very nice compared to other part of the country I've been to everyone is respectful here and very nice and welcoming so it has been a great experience for me so far okay that's really great it's interesting 
and uh, uh yari uh, if you would like to add anything uh, about the student experience or uh, living here in aulu uh living in aulu it's <laughs> yeah. well i started my studies here and i still am in here so i've been here for i don't know 20 years more than okay. so it's been a really good experience for me uh, for for example this campus which we have it's an indoor campus so it's not cold here so you don't have to put a sweater on when you change the lecture room. So it's all the inside, it's really, really nice in here. But the and in outside, if you go, you can live quite near the campus. And if you don't live near, you can easily use bicycles to move here. So it's like a public transport is working well, but also this kind of muscle uh, uh, transport is working quite well here at the university area. Okay, that's really great. Uh, so we come to the end of the session and thank you both for being here today. and. Uh, uh, just uh, a reminder for the applicants and uh, uh, please be aware that the applications for the master's program uh, in wireless communications engineering uh, will open and ends uh, and is due in January and uh, the applicants should uh, watch their emails for further communication about interviews, acceptance and also uh, enrollment process. So uh, that's all for here uh, for today and uh, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you.